Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is Old Miss Betty, Mama Dukes. Today, I spent most all day with the family, and then I said, hey, Mom, let's go put on the crab traps. So we ran somewhere totally new. I've never been here before. We're looking for bait, any kind of bait, mullet, sand perch, you name it. We're trying to catch fresh bait. We're gonna put out our traps. I just heard a mullet jump over there. We're gonna catch some bait. We're gonna put these traps out. Then I'm gonna bring the girls up here tomorrow and check it. I love the pursuit of a new spot. And today, we're looking for blue crabs. What do you think, Mom? We'll get them. We'll get them. All right, let's go. And then slow it down a little bit. Okay. One of the problems with this is you never know where there's oyster beds or something that's gonna hang up and destroy your net. So, gotta kinda be careful. Okay, y'all, that right there is what we're looking for. That's a big old black mullet. You can tell by the stripes, and I believe whether you're fishing for crabs or snook or blue marlin, if you're fishing for something, use the bait that is in that area. Make sure your float has an R on it. That stands for recreational. I can't stress to you enough. They will give you a ticket if you don't have that. Then you have to have your name and address on your trap. And we're only gonna soak these baits overnight. So all I'm gonna use is a half a mullet. That's less than I typically use, but you know what? That's all I got. So that's all I'm gonna use. See this? This is called a half trap. That right there is called a full trap. That's the first one. How deep are we here? Seven. Eight? Eight. How deep are we, Ma? Four. Four feet? Four Look at feet. that mullet right there. That mullet said throw your trap here and you should couch mini crabs. All right, you guys, so we are back. It's exactly 20 hours later, and I got my little fishing buddy with me, Aria. Oh yeah. Here, start pulling it in. Pull right here. Oh, it's up in super shallow water. Ooh, we've got one big old giant blue crab in there. Look at the size. So, yeah. Now, Aria, do not stick your hands in there because that crab will pinch you, okay? Push your trap in the water. Can I do it by myself? Yep, do it by yourself. Oh, perfect. Now, we got another trap to pull. Huh? Here you go, Aria. Pull it. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. I don't know. You getting it? Are you getting it? Okay, this is a full trap. And it's got absolutely nothing in it. I am so shocked by that. Okay, let's put a little more bait in it, okay? See this one right in front of us? Okay, Aria. Here comes another trap. You gonna help me out? Pull, 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 pull. I think I see one in there. Oh, we got one, baby. Look at that, we got another red one. If you're gonna hold one of these crabs, these back fins, that's how he swims. Grab him back there and then he can't reach back and grab you, but grab them at your own risk. If they bite, they typically don't want to let go. Like, let's say as we get farther to the east, if we start catching more crabs, then we can place the traps in that area. You don't just continually put them back if you're not catching crabs. You see a booby? You see a buoy? Yeah. Right there. You see white. And yellow. That one. See that? Here it is. 
friends right here, baby. Yeah. Come on, help me pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull it. How many do you think we got? Two. Two? I think. Well, the answer is none. We might be going to try somewhere new. I see one, Dad. I see a booby. Where's it at? How many crabs do you think we're going to have in here? Uh, two. What do we have? We have a catfish. For those of you who wonder, catfish are terrible crab bait. A lot of times I find that you learn more when you fail than when you succeed. So. I don't know. We'll find out. Here, pull. Pull, Aria. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. I think it's a catfish on We got one, Aria! Now look, this is unique. So, what color is it? this one is a normal color. Whoa. It's a blue crab! Yeah, so now, Aria, see this one is more blue, like a more traditional color. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe if they're really far back, closer to the fresh water, maybe they start turning red. I don't know. Dad, I found a booby. Where's it at? Right there. I found one right there. Okay. Here, are you? Come help me pull, sweetheart. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. This is closer. We got it. Pull it. You getting it? Yeah. Wake up. Nada. Nada. Nothing. How you like that sea hot? What's up, man? Nothing. Nothing. Dad, it's right there. Ah. Got it? Right there. I told you. Come on, Arya. What do we have? Whoops, we got one more. Now, Aria, hold on, I want to show you something, honey pie. Come here. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. Ooh. It's a bluer one. Okay, hold on, Aria, I want to show you something. Now look. You see how this one has Hold on, let me just, let me just hold her claws. See how it's got red on the tip right there? Uh -huh. What does that look like? Uh, does it look like she's got lipstick on? Yeah. Looks like it's got lipstick on. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. You guys, I promise you what I'm looking at is the first time I've ever seen this in my life. Anytime you see a blue crab with, with red tips on its claws, it's, what it's, it's a female. But you see the apron? This is actually a male. I've What's never that seen that before. Why are you all fat? <laughs> Hold on. Look at this. So it's got red tips like a female, but it's got an apron like a male. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I think this is a hermaphrodite. Grab the other hand. Okay. Now the crab's not going to bite you like that, okay? 
All right. Now say bye bye, crab. Let's let him go. Sweetheart, that's a little one. We want to let we want to let him grow up and get big so we can eat him later. Okay? Oh no no no! This is what we're gonna do. You want to take him and put him with Gabe's with Uncle Gabe's crab? Yeah. We can put this one and see. Maybe he turns into a female. I don't know. Let's see. So we'll take this one and we'll put it in with Frank. No, I want. Okay. So my little brother can Gabriel. I do it? Can I do it? Here you go. Hold him. Put him in there. Good job. So Blue Gabe, my little brother, has a channel, and he's got a big saltwater tank at his house, and he's got a crab named Frank. We're gonna throw this one in there and see what happens. Then, Give me a high five, honey. Then they will have friends to play. Yeah. Because, Typically, whenever I come crabbing, I want to catch a bunch of crabs so I can go back and have a big crab dinner. But you know what? Moments like this are worth more than a bunch of crabs. Hold on. Wait now. There. Go ahead. Jump, drop it in the water. There you go. Let's get some more. So we're going to drop all these traps in the water. We're way far to the east. We're going to try to find the crabs. But we're going to let them soak for three days. This time they soaked for one day. Now we're going to let them soak for three days. We'll see you guys when we come back to check them. Me and Aria, we're on the hunt for big blue crabs. We've been doing our good deeds. We actually found this cast net in the water at the boat ramp. So instead of leaving it in the water, we dug it out and now here we are. All right, let's go put him in the tank. Gabe's over here editing. Look at this, Gabe. Come here and check this out. Come in the light. Yo, I'm trying to work and he's over here got me looking at a crab. The last crab I put in here with Frank, Frank threw her out of the tank and we found her in the game room. Okay, so. Frank's like, not again, seriously. See how the, see how Frank is eating that shrimp? He uses his claws. No, 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 don't do that, sweetheart. That he's using like... his claws to hold the shrimp and then he's eating it with his mouth. So his claws are like his hand. We got the can cooker, we threw a little water in there, we seasoned up our crabs, put this lid on top. Now latch it down. These things are actually really nice because any heat source will work. You can use campfire, a little multi-fuel, you can use a stove top, whatever you want. They're seasoned up, let them come to a boil, or a, we'll, they'll start steaming, steam them for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna cook. I really believe in getting Aria and Emma and Sarah involved with everything that we do like this because it makes them appreciate what we're doing. Hey. You know what else is good about the can cooker? What? If you use promo code BLUEGATE, you save 20%. Oh yeah, hey, if you go if you go to can cooker and use promo code BLUEGABE, save 20%. And these things are awesome. I'll tell you what. How nice that is. Hey, we may have only caught three, but three is better than none. Aria, look, see, we got a big crab just like that. So we want to pull the pinchers off. Because you have to. Pop, ooh, he's full of meat too. Heck yeah. Look at that. That's what I was trying to dig up. Okay, Aria. You don't want any butter? Try it. <laughs> no, just I want you to taste it. I did. I don't want you to taste it just for the camera. I want you to actually taste it. Eat the whole thing and tell me what you think when it's done. Good. Be serious. Good. Do you really like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, one of the things we've worked with with our. You want more? 
Okay. But one of the things we work with our children, we work with trust. Trust us to take a bite. If you take a bite and you honestly don't like it, you don't have to eat anymore. But at least trust us enough to take a bite. Taste it with the butter. And then if you don't like it, I'll make you a whole nother piece without butter. Just taste it, okay? Okay. Just a little bit. Now, you're gonna chew that right off the back. There you go, bite down. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it more with or without the butter? Without the butter? Okay, then I'm gonna get you one more nice big piece without butter. But see, that's how you learn. You have to step outside your boundaries and figure out what you really- I like it with the butter and the with the butter. Oh, now you like it with the butter. I like both. You like it both ways, huh? Yeah. Ooh, try that. See the, go all the way, now take your teeth and pull it off. Take your teeth and go like this, go, and pull it off. Is it good? Why do you, why do you use claws? Cause, watch this, honey. Is it the piece I want? No, I want it with butter. Here you go. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Okay, more. You want more? Okay, we're gonna eat them all. But this is what it's all about. Yesterday, we came out with my mom in a totally new spot, set some traps. We caught four. One of them is in Gabe's tank, the other three we cooked, and we're just having a good time. A number one, these are memories that are cherished, that are blessed between me and my family. Leave a comment below and let us know what you wanna see me, Aria, Emma, and Sarah do in the future because we are excited for this spring. That's all I got for you though. Take care, God bless, and we are